Hi, I'm Em, and this is Disney M UK, and today we are at Animal Kingdom, and it's our first Animal Kingdom day of our trip. Um, we're a little bit later getting into the park than we hoped to be, but that's all right. We'll see what the queues like and we'll get what we can done. It's a it seems a bit cooler than yesterday, so a bit grateful for that. <laughs> that big, big, long storm last night cleared some air at least, because yesterday was was a bit painful. <laughs> but, <laughs> right, anyway, going to go through security. I'll see you on the other side. We just had our uh, entrance photo taken with a uh, cast member, Justin, um, our photo pass photographer, and he was so great. Um, big shout out for Justin. I'm so gutted that I put my phone away, thinking oh, and my phone, my camera away, thinking, oh, we're just going to have a photo together. I don't want to be holding my camera. And he had a great interaction with the kids. He was giving them uh, you know the high fives where you sort of like miss and he was shaking their hands and he was tormenting them about their age and it was just so funny the, it was great it was so great so great start to the day queuing up for another photo pass at the entrance here it's a giant anteater one of my favorite animals years ago when we came we had like a really good interaction with one like that it was really active and it was really cool right here that was oh, 2008, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see one. There she is, the tree of life. That's the tree of life. How big is that? Can you? Can you see anything unusual yet about it, or do we need to get a bit closer? Let's go look a bit closer. Oh, there's more than just a waterfall going down it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, close. She'll come by again, hopefully. All right, I'm gonna go there. Uh, with the kids out. <laughs> They've just gone in the shop. Um, so I think you look out for these symbols and this is the flamingo one to fill out your wilderness explorers book and there is a cast member on hand here helping us can you read any of the numbers on their leg bands oh. write the numbers you see the under the flamingos pen. below oh i think i've got a pen let me dig it out Go. Yeah, so they're rings so they can yeah. identify them. A bit like with our chickens, we have different leg rings on them. We just colour code us, but they've got so many, you have numbers. So they're all unique. So they can keep track of them, keep their health up. Oh look, one's coming right here, you might be able to read this tag. Can we read this one? 278. 278, well done. 
Oh. Mm-hmm. Well done. Yeah. That's it. Got your badge. Right, creature comforts, we need a breakfast. We haven't actually had breakfast yet, so this is actually a Starbucks, but they do have Mickey cinnamon buns, so the colossal ones, the really big ones. And last time I had one, it was really, really good. So I'm hoping it's gonna be as good as I remember it. Here we go, we've got the Mickey cinnamon buns with the like Pandora blue icing on it for the 50th. It's the 50th ad edition, it's normally a white white frosting. I've got my, what is it? A cookie crunch thing. That is a, if I'm right, it's a double chocolatey chip cream. Ah, well wherever it is, it's really nice. And this is a caramel ribbon crunch. And we've crunch. got the cantina, just for carrying our water around. I've really wanted one of these for a while now. Yay! And the girls have got the strawberry frozen lemonades. What are they like? Nice. Mm. And they we like got blended some... Blended lemonade. Oh, and you got a treat. What did you get? Another Pocahontas mousse. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's pretty. Looks like it's like what they call birthday cake underneath. And lots of frosting. There you go. And mousse. You got a hot pan of chocolate. That looks good. Put it down gently. That's it. And we've also got. Oh, we've got banana cinnamon breads. coffee cake. Oh, nice. And pumpkin loaf. Oh, pumpkin loaf. Cool. All right. As it's fall when we're doing Halloween. Yeah, yeah, of course. Halloween in this weather. <laughs> it's fall, by the way, everyone. <laughs> so we're in the queue for Carly River Rapids. Everyone has like scraped in. So, cast members have measured her. Everyone, do you want to show me your wristband? Yeah, you've got a special wristband to so say you've been measured once. And they've got to check twice, make sure, double sure that you're tall enough. Yeah, you had to stand super tall, didn't you? Yeah, that's it. So, hopefully she makes it through the second check because it's been a 55 minute wait, apparently. We're about, about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes away now. We're finally indoors. My, my camera's overheating, so I thought I'd wait until we're indoors. <laughs> I love Animal Kingdom, the theme in here is just stunning. I might switch to my phone in the waterproof case as well to film on the ride. So just be aware the quality will change. <laughs> Uh-oh, up we go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> to go backwards. <laughs> oh, So that was successful, they, both girls really loved that um, and they met a friend as you probably saw in the queue, that was really sweet, um, so we all rode together and they were lovely and they gave me permission to put them up on Facebook, uh, Facebook, YouTube, terrible, I'm always on Facebook. <laughs> um, so thank you, I didn't get their names but I'm sure I can ask um, <laughs> Georgina, she probably knows. But. Yeah, that was a nice one. I, I was a little bit disappointed we didn't get as wet as I remembered. You know, we've, we've been in, in cold weather and needed our ponchos and been like absolutely soaked through, but we barely got splashed on this occasion. Maybe we balanced our boat a little bit too, too good. We needed to make one heavier end <laughs> to get really soaked. No, this side of the fence isn't it? Or is that the exit? It's, it must be there that way. Did you come out that way? Yeah. Probably that way. It's so hot, my brain is fried. It's, I, I said it was a cooler one today, but it's not. It's it's a scorcher. <laughs> no, I'm not used to this heat. It's it's quite intense. 
Oh, the girls have got ice lollies in this heat as well, which obviously, as soon as you give them to them, they're just melting. This in front of us is where the kite tail show happens. Um, I'm not sure of the showing times, but it was the Rivers of Light arena. But now, now it's the kite tails. Oh, there's one land in the landing zone over there. So I'm not sure if it's just finished or is setting up to start or if they get stored here. I'm not quite sure because it's new to us. I remember when we first came, like, and Everest first opened, like, seeing that all of this was just for queuing, just blew our minds. And some of these are real hard hacks. Well, if you don't, if you relax your neck there, you get slammed into the seat, I find. See my phone, I haven't shown you, it's in like one of these cases. So thought that way I'm not gonna lose it off the ride as well as on the wet rides, keeping it dry. Ariel, do you wanna see Nemo? And Dory? Yeah? It'd be nice and cool in there, we can sit down as well for a little bit, yeah? Does that sound good? Yeah? You're hot, aren't you, Bubba? and unsustainable fishing practices. But the more you learn about ocean animals, the more you can help. You can start by visiting a local library, asking a teacher, or exploring online resources that celebrate the wonders of the natural world. We remember the three R's. Rescue, rehabilitate, and
I was really good and it was just what we needed to get out the heat and into the aircon a bit of rest because it we'd got a bit overheated hadn't we and it was so good it was different to before they made changes to it and actually I think it's improved it and it was really really good kids liked it too here we go are you going at the front oh okay I have got the control oh but have you because I think what have you got there, Ariel? You've got a control stick too. What? Yeah. And we both steer. Ah, so it's slightly different to Dumbo. Oh, oh. Here we go. Oh, there we go. We're up. We're up. Oh my God. Oh, that's good. She's making it better. Everything is. Don't that good. Oh, and then we go fast. It's like he's running along. Up and down, and everyone made it go. Yeah, just yeah, that's right. All right, so I'm gonna give you some phones, and I want you to see if you can figure out where they fit. So I'm gonna give you this one, and you can walk all around and try to match my dinosaur ones, okay? You gotta put it back together. Because there are some scientists that spend a lot of time figuring out how to put the dinosaur bones back together. What one do you think yours goes with, Ariel? What one looks like it might belong to yours? Very nice. Well done, Georgina. Like a puzzle. That's it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You did it. You did it. You put the bones back together. Huh? The other way. That wilderness explorers. Oh. Can I help you? How about? Do you want to try to set it in like that? Go on in. Very nice. You did it. Together, they like to give them names. Do you know the names of any of these dinosaurs? Oh, what ones do you think? Oh, um, T Rex. Wait, no, this one's T Rex. Yes, yeah, so it's got those big sharp T Rex. Right? That's a Triceratops. Um, that's a Triceratops. Well done, Ariel. Nice. I think it's off. What do you think? This is the life size of a T Rex tooth. So they have 60 of them. Errol, look how big that was. That's yeah. a T-Rex tooth. So they have one tooth. Their mouth are really, really big, right? And you're right, they were meat eaters and they use these sharp teeth to help them rip it all up. Hey, look at it. Time to be a bug, but it's apparently a bit tough. Oh, it's an art Mummy, where are my hands? We're walking around the roots of the Tree of Life right now. Because the right, the show is not really a ride, it's a show, an attraction, is in the bottom of the Tree of Life, Georgina. There, these are the roots. Look, see, just like ants tend to live in like the roots. Yeah. Yeah, you've got your stalks and things, parrots. That's it. Good girl. Come in. Oh, ride's ready. The ride's ready. Let's go. Or the attraction. Why do I keep saying it's a ride? <laughs> and so, now, and we have with that, and we'll see you after. If you like to torture your kids like we did in the 90s, that's that's where you go. <laughs> My kids were like, ah, get out. They're all right though. It's all right. It's fun. But, you know, not many attractions threaten to squirt children with acid and things, so you will get a few surprises. It's one of those 4D shows, so you get like the water and the touchy feely things. So I couldn't film, obviously, but it's funny. Oh, look, look at these soldiers. Who's that? There's Doug and Russell. <laughs> Hiya. 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 Hiya.
hit seven. So with this ride, it is a safari ride. So you're in like a truck and you go around the savannah. It's really, really good to get to see lots of animals, basically quite up close. You get a guide and they explain things to you. It's really nice. Each each time is different, obviously, because it depends what animals are up and about and your guide, what they're like. So, um, But it is a common belief that you go, obviously, middle of the day when it's really sunny and it's really picturesque and everything. But to be honest, most of the animals sleep when it's very, very hot and they rest. So you don't really see a lot going on. Um, so we're hoping it's had a bit of a storm, a bit of a rain, it's cooled down um, that the animals might be a bit more active so we'll see, we'll find out is this true, will this be a better option and I think it's a walk on, it said queue time 5 minutes and we're just flying through this queue so I think it might even be a walk on we've met some really lovely cast members in this park as well really good I think it's because it's a little bit more of a chilled park the cast members are a little bit more chilled I think Magic Kingdom is like so intense like obviously they still make magic for you but they're, they're doing a job I think this park has just like a little bit of a softer feel but yeah we are literally right here brilliant here on the Brown Bay Wildlife Reserve. At all times, I need you to remain seated, keeping hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the truck. And go ahead and secure all those loose articles, or as I like to call them when they fall off the truck, lost and thank yous. Thousand pounds. The other difference between the black rhino and all other rhino species is that they have a large upper prehensile lip. Look, they're right made here. up of a honey tome-like structure, so they're really not that heavy. They're really close. There he is. Coming up here on the right, you're going to see some of our Hartman's mountain zebra. Look. They are the smallest of all zebra species. They have small hoofs that help them to navigate mountainous terrain. They also have a dewlap under their neck that helps them to regulate their body temperature. There's a lot of mud or dirt on the back of that elephant. That is He's not going to kiss you. None of the animals are going to kiss you. Because what they'll do is they'll take their you. trunk and they'll pick up some mud and dirt and they'll throw it on themselves. It kind of acts as a natural sunscreen for them. Alice licks me the best. Alice licks you the best. Yes, our doggy does. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The elephant is not going to kiss you. It has been found that elephants are deathly afraid of bees, so in order to keep them away from eating the farmer's crop, they'll put those bee boxes out, which in return helps them keep those elephants away. And it also acts as another source of income for them. So that way they can continue to make a profit. Yeah, we're in Satuli Canteen. Yes, it is cool. In Pandora. But it's also really cool. It is a bit cold, but also it looks really cool. Like, it does look really cool. You love it, don't you? Well, I could just stare at the ceiling. <laughs> and die. It's really good. So... It's more like rice. So and she wants to go like create her own bowl, yeah? Yeah, she wants to create her own bowl. I want to create my own bowl as well. So you choose your meat, choose your base. So, like, yeah, it says on there noodles and sweet potato hash, hearty salad, rice and beans, sides, vinaigrettes, and things. Yeah. Zoom in so you can see. I think we need to have the dessert as well. Yeah. Yeah. We do case it is. So everything is done, like a cantina, the scientists would use on Pandora. 
mixed in obviously with a touch of Navi. Like there's um, your condiments and everything over here. Off well tested. <laughs> And this is just a quick service, so you don't need a book in, you get all this theme in. And apparently the food's really good, so I did have something last time, I can't remember what I had, other than the blue um, blueberry mousse, and the blueberry mousse was good last time. In fact, I don't think I had a meal, no, but oh, I had some of the vegetable chips and they were really nice. It. Let's go find everyone. You got the cheeseburger pot. I think I've got the and the, if I remember, the house made um, vegetables crisps were really good. If I remember rightly, last time. Yeah, I really thought they were really good last time. Yeah, they've got a unique flavour. And you got the cheese um, cake thing, didn't you? The cheese cake mousse. I had it last time when we were here. I really yeah, liked it. Was it. Really good. <laughs> We've got some more of them coming. And yep, the chocolate one. They're very nice. Apparently that's um, based on Joe Rohde's family recipe. So Joe Rohde is the um, lead imagineer of the, well, basically he's famous for Animal Kingdom. And apparently that's one of his family recipes. And it just made it to the park. <laughs> This is the noodle bowl, chicken, coleslaw with the barrel balls, looks like there's peppers in there. We got the cheesecakes as well. That is a special drink, I'd, I'll get Rob to say where it is. Anyone have a look at the other one? Oh, the what? Oh, the floating mountain. Uh, we won't fit your suitcase for Denny. Oh, we'll have a proper look in the light tomorrow. No, 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 not tomorrow. We'll have a proper look at Pandora another day as we've just missed out on the rides. Some of the setting in the park has closed. This is what Pandora looks like at night. Look at all the bioluminescence on the floor. Your magic band plus in Pandora is going for it. That's cool. I'm connected to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Walking through Pandora at night is definitely a must do. If you've not seen Pandora, you know, it's one of those things that you need to see in the day. There's lots of details that you can see and appreciate during the daytime and the mountains look beautiful when the sun's hitting them. But you need to come back at night. It's definitely do both. So when we come back, we're doing it the other way around. We'll come back and we'll show you it in the daytime as well. The camera does not do this land justice. It's just beautiful in real life, really stunning. That's gonna about do it for us for today from Animal Kingdom Look. I'm actually signing off at the park. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you subscribe so you can see the next episode. And uh, yeah, don't forget to Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. <laughs> Bye.